Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to install Luke FC's FSR 3 Frame Generation Mod in Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League on Steam Deck and ROG Ally. I've already tested the vanilla version of this game with and without AFMF on my Ally. We'll drop the video link in the description. In this video I'll be just focusing on FSR 3 mod. First I'll run the vanilla version of the game on my Steam Deck running on Steam OS. Suicide Squad is a looter shooter action adventure game developed by Rocksteady Studios. It's the same studio that is behind Batman Arkham series of games. In this game, the supervillain Brainiac invades the city of Metropolis. He has some members of Justice League under his mind control. It's up to the members of Suicide Squad to save the day. They are the good guys in this game. They have been recruited by Amanda Waller, forced into obeying her orders as she has implanted a bomb in the bodies of all members of Suicide Squad. I'm using G Proton version 8-30 as the compatibility layer. Install the game on Steam Deck's internal SSD going on ok by mistake I had pressed a key on my keyboard start the game it's very expensive for a looter shooter 70 US dollars in India it's priced at around rupees 5000 I have set the UMA buffer size to 1 GB it will force the game to compile shaders at the start will help in reducing the stuttering but I'll be honest this game does not run properly on steam deck in the open world area FPS often drops down to as low as 18 Performance tab, OLA level set to 2. I have enabled disable frame limit and alert hearing settings. Uncap the FPS, and that's it. Connected my PS4 controller to deck via Bluetooth mode. Show you the settings 800p resolution, in game VSync disabled. Target frame rate 60. I have the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Anti lane set to FSR. Using its performance preset, low preset. Ray tracing disabled, motion blur disabled as well. Start the game. I'll straight away load the city area. You can play this game in either solo or co op mode. I'll be playing it in solo mode. AI will be controlling our team members, three of them. This error popped up. Your system appears to be using single channel memory, which may have a negative impact on performance. I cannot change that. Just ignore the error. That's Edward Nigma. He has laid out puzzles for us throughout the city. Reminiscent of Arkham Knight. Alright, so here we are getting around 33 to 40 FPS. Look at the scale of Metropolis. Big open world. Brainiac's invasion is going on. Evil Batman. Yeah, he's working for Brainiac in this game. 29 FPS. City has been overrun by Brainiac's minions. I'll just engage in combat. Looking for the bad guys. There they are. Observe the FPS counter. 27 FPS. Twenty-two FPS. Steam Nest struggles to maintain thirty FPS in this game. This area is not the most demanding area. Still, we are getting around 23 to 30 FPS. Total power draw is around 25 watts. Using Deadshot special move, FPS dropped down to 22. Okay, so now I'll show you how to install Luke Access mod in this game. 22 FPS. I'll be using version 0.10.2 of Luke FC's mod. You need to subscribe to their Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 6 US dollars. First extract the contents of common mod files archive file. I have already done that. Copy these two files. 
this is SteamOS running in desktop mode find the game in your library select it right click go to manage then click on browse local files this will open the games installed directory here you go now open stones folder then open binaries folder win64 folder paste the files here you need to copy the mods ASF file corresponding to FSR version 2.2 .2. I have already extracted the ASF file copy paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files right here this game uses easy anti-cheat software we need to tweak a setting in order to bypass the file check at the startup just open the games install directory open easy anti-cheat software right click on settings.json file go to open with then click on key right basically a text editor this is the game's product id just change it to anything else i'll just remove the number one from its end this should be enough click on save close the file need to add a launch option for this game just select the game from your steam library then click on the settings cog here then click on properties then click on general i'll provide the launch option in the description of this video you can copy it from there and paste it here we'll be using gproton version 8-30 as the compatibility layer now just launch the game it will generate a toml file it's not recommended to play the game in co-op mode with the mod installed and just play it in solo mode with bots easy anti-cheat black window with some logs indicate that the mod is working I'm just waiting for the game's menu to pop up then we'll close the game and tweak the toml file we are in and just exit the game now just go back to your directory where you pasted the mod files a toml file will be present there there it is I'm just open it set fake nvidia gpu to true by default it is set to false click on save close the file i'll switch to steam gaming mode we are ready to run the game using the same compatibility delay as before that is gproton version 8 as 30 graphics setting 800p resolution upscaler set to fsr performance low preset this should activate frame generation jump into the game all right i started a mission here fps is around 50 it's very variable fps suddenly drop from 50 to 39 back up to 55 dropped again we are hitting the hardware limitation cp usage is around 90 percent gp usage is around 98 percent this game is too much for steam deck even with the fsr3 frame generation mod installed image quality is looking decent take out the creatures i'll use dead shot special ability so the fps counter yeah FPS drop from 60 to 30 there. Not the ideal experience on Steam Deck. You can uh, fix the flickering of game's heart by switching to DLSS. Let me just show you this. But this will disable frame generation. Go to options. Go to video. Set up scalar to DLSS. Performance. As you can see, the flickering is gone, but I'll be honest. The added amount of smoothness that I observed with FSR3 frame generation is completely gone now. Frame generation is not working at all. It's almost as if game is running at around 25 FPS. Half of what the FPS counter is displaying. This is not 50 FPS. Sluggish gameplay. Can't recommend this game on Steam Deck. Now I'll be showing you how to install Luke FC Smart on ROG LA Windows 11. On ROG LA, I've set the UMA buffer size to auto. This will force the game to compile the shaders at the start. Will help in reducing the stuttering. Using a 30 watts manual profile, all three values of power are set at 30 watts. 720p resolution. CPU boost disabled. I have enabled anti lag setting from AMD's adrenaline software. I have also enabled vSync from here. AFM have disabled. FreeSync enabled. 
the mod setup process is mostly the same first extract the contents of common mod archive file I've already done that copy these two files now you need to open the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage browse local files this is the games install directory open stones folder binaries folder win64 folder paste the files here now I need to copy the mod csf file corresponding to fsr version 2.2 I have already extracted the ASF file there it is copy paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files don't need to use any launch option just launch the game now tuml file will be generated you will see this black window with some logs indicating that the mod is working we need to tweak the easy anti-cheat setting as well tuml file has been generated in the background yeah this error will pop up show you how to fix this ok open the tuml file easy anti-cheat prevented the game from launching because we have installed the mod just set fake nvidia gpu setting to true by default it is set to false if you have an nvidia based gpu you don't need to change the value of fake nvidia gpu click on file click on save close this file open the games install directory open easy anti cheat software we need to edit the settings.json file right click edit in notepad we just need to change the product id you can set it to anything you want i'll just remove one from its end this will work click on file click on save you don't need to add any launch option start the game using my playstation 4 controller now game should start error should not pop up there you go it works Radian anti lag is working. Game settings 720p restitution. In game is disabled. Target frame rate set to 120. FSI enabled using its faulty preset. Using the low preset. Start the game. Alright, the game has started. Here FPS is around 80 to 90. This is amazing. Frame generation is definitely working in this game. Playing as that shot. Even on ROG Ally, the interface is flickering. Can't do much about it. Okay, I'll take out this tank. Demanding sequence, lot of explosions. Still getting around 80 FPS. Sniper. Hundred FPS on the rooftops. Streets are more demanding, as you would. Now I'll switch to DLSS. It will fix the flickering, but it will also disable frame generation. Quality, and you can see flickering has been fixed. I'll be honest, this is not 90 FPS. Seems to be 40 to 45 FPS. Can observe the sluggishness. This is definitely not 80 to 90 FPS. Oh no, low on HP. I'll quickly enable FSR. This will enable frame generation as well. Yeah, the interface is flickering again, but frame generation is working now. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. I hope Luke FC will be able to fix the flickering issue in this game with the future updates. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.